So we're going to draw our chibi mini me. Chibi is that cute style in which you have a big head that is almost the same size of the body. So if you just check this out, my gosh, what a big head. <laughs> so how are we going to be doing? We're going to start by placing your finger at the middle of your paper, just for you to know that your head needs to be on this upper part. Then I would trace a circle, a quite big circle, right here at the top. You might want to use some sort of lid or circle thing that you have, like a toilet paper tube, if you want to help to trace the circle. So make a big circle here for the head, and then imagine around the same size of this circle here to the bottom. And I'm going just to trace a line over here so I know where to stop. And big head, same size of body. I just start making my body by bringing two lines down, almost like a wooden doll, this way. Now I can connect making two letter U's, whoop, and whoop, for the legs and close the legs like this. Now it's time for the arms. We're going to start making the arms by the head and body intersection. Intersection is where these two shapes touch each other. So I will start making my arm over here. I will stop making my arm anywhere that is not the same spot. What we are not going to do is make arms like this. My arm doesn't start on my belly, please. So that's what we don't do, okay? So we do the arm starting the intersection and coming back to the body. This way we have the base of the body for the mini me. Now everything you add, you have to think about how do you look like? Hmm. I did it myself with my curly short hair and my art apron with a blue t-shirt that I actually have. But you want to do different ways. I don't know how do you look like, so you better get a mirror and take a look. Do you have bangs on how does your hair look like in the front of you? Pay attention that we don't make the hair on the top of the circle, but the hair goes from the inside. So if your hair is straight, you may want to try by doing some lines inside of the circle. In this case, if your hair is divided in the side and not in the middle. If your hair is really short, that's all you need for the hair. And that's a key thing for your mini-me. Let's see our other hairstyles. If your hair is straight but divided in the center, we may just do like this. If your hair is curly and to the side, you may want to do some lines starting from the side of your, of your circle, but still inside of the circle. If your hair is curly but it's starting in the middle, you can make this way. And if your hair is short but it appears differently, you might want to try something like this. What really helps you if you take a look at the mirror. Returning here. So if your hair is really short, this is enough. If your hair is long, what you have to do is bring it down. This short. Longer. <gasps> longer. Then you have to decide the length of your hair and stop. And you come to the other side. And you have to stop the same length, right? So there you go. And we have a medium straight hair. Let's try seeing the other ones. This one in the middle, you might want to do some wavy line by the end. So you may try adding some curves to your hair. Or you may try adding more curls. Maybe this one is short. Mm. 
you might want to do a really a really short hair so we can stop short over here and a really curly short hair like this one or of course you're going to see in the mirror how do you look like and do your hairstyle for the eyes you can just look like you can just make a small circle and choose more circles with a tiny one inside to be the glow of your eye right here and I want to make a big smile now let's put some clothes on so I, what I like to do the beginning of the t-shirt and it has no sleeves I will come from here and finish my shirt and that's where my short starts so I can make some pockets and define where it will end here you can just leave it plain I mean bare <laughs> you can leave yourself barefoot or you may want to try putting some sandals on just suggesting maybe a pair of flip-flops or other kind of sandals then you add accessories, you have to look what you have and what you usually wear. Because if that's a mini me, you have to look like you. So it's interesting to see how the hair will look like and what kind of things do you usually wear as necklaces and bracelets. What kind of clothes do you have? Get your favorite clothes, clothes out of your closet and take a look how it looks like. Does it have drawings? Does it have pockets? What colors are they? This will help you doing your mini-me. And you can also put in your hands something that you're always that you always have. I have my paintbrush, but you might have something else. You might have a toy, maybe a body plush, or something else. So what do you like that you want to have in your hands? Now it's time to color.